So hello students in this module we'll cover the sexually transmitted infections and we'll talk about genital ulcer disease right so let's look at common causes of genital ulcer herpes genitalis right then you have syphilis you have chancroid you have lymphogranuloma venerum and you have dono venosis right so these are five classical causes of genital ulceration now let's look at these causes one by one see herpes genitalis i have already covered in viral infections but i'll just revise it here what is the organism herpes simplex virus 2 right what is the incubation period it's 3 to rather 2 to 7 days 2 to seven days okay now i told you it can be a primary episode the first episode where you get more of fever constitutional symptoms lymphadenopathy and in recurrent episode these symptoms are not so severe right so it can either be a primary episode or it can be a recurrent episode okay what do you get what is the characteristic of the ulcer it's a painful ulcer first of all please remember it's a painful ulcer and you get grouped vesicular lesions which rupture to form shallow ulcers with polycyclic margins okay you get multiple shallow ulcers with polycyclic margins and a red base right lymphadenopathy here is bilateral and you get painful lymphadenopathy you get bilateral and painful lymphadenopathy right very important what investigation can you do you can do a zang smear right and what will you get you will get multinucleate giant cell correct what treatment will you give to the patient you will give acyclovir 400 milligram thrice daily for 7 to 10 days right see these are multiple shallow ulcers of herpes genitalis okay let's discuss chancroidus first because this is also a painful ulcer so chancroid is caused by hemophilus ducri hemophilus ducri right what is the incubation period it is 3 to 10 days what is the characteristic of the ulcer it's a painful ulcer with undermined margins and a purulent base so it's a deep undermined purulent ulcer right it's a deep undermined purulent ulcer and it bleeds if you scrape it off it bleeds on scraping off right and the borders are ragged it has ragged borders okay so you get very deep undermined you know purulent ulcers which will bleed if you scrape it off and they have ragged borders what is the lymphadenopathy here? It's unilateral and painful. And these swellings are known as buboes. Okay. So you get a unilateral painful lymphadenopathy. This is a bubo. Okay. Then if you do a gram stain, you get a school of fish appearance. Okay. You get a school of fish appearance right what is the treatment you will give azithromycin 1 gram or ceftriaxone 250 milligram i am single dose so this is how you treat a case of chancroid. You will get a very deep purulent ulcer 
with undermined edges and ragged borders and if you scrape off the ulcer it is going to bleed you will get unilateral painful lymphadenopathy